In February 2007, Principal Photography began on an exciting new feature film called Claire. And uh, next we've got Kevin West of uh, West Film Production. Various locations have been utilised in Liverpool, such as Tony Almond's in Waterloo. I'm Liz Almond, I'm the owner. I think it's very exciting. He's got his new film out, Claire, and here's a little clip. How long has this been going on? A long time. Bastards. Thought you should know. Don't think I'm not grateful I am. Give me an order. Then what? Mmm, intriguing there, mate. Kevin West joins me in the studio. Hello, Kevin. Hiya. It's a cartoon about butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fluffy bunny, bunny rabbit with a uh, kosh by the side of it. Um, it's called Claire. Yes. Now, it's been an interesting night. I, I'm, I'm very much on your side. Just basically tell us your story. Shops, houses, restaurants and bars have opened their hearts to this fiercely independent feature film. I think absolutely, a definite yes. It's all very good. Sarah Gibbons and Richie Grice are here in Marine Park filming the opening scene. Sound take for scene two. Um, action when ready. Claire, I've got those pictures. It's not all there. Thank you. Yes, too. So what do you think about uh, the flat being used for these purposes then, Andrew? Really? Sure. Yeah. I mean, I did, a, I did a film called Going Off Big Time in, in, in 2000. That, yeah, that's great. That was distributed, you know, uh, worldwide. Premiered the Cannes Film Festival. Part of the Channel 4, Film 4 season of, of top independent British films. I still can't get funded. <laughs> still leaking a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, basically because, you know, London is very much used to film funding. It's very much used to film the film business, the film industry. Liverpool isn't. To Condon Amber. Will yeah. Payne. Your dad's in this and we've come to lose head off last night. The police <laughs> arrived. <laughs> While we were filming on the industrial estate and we used real tomato ketchup. <laughs> so I already had uh, an edit suite, a couple of cameras, sound gear, lighting rig. Knew all the actors anyway, just got everyone together. Just went from there and everyone kind of got into the ethos of it. So basically, as uh, Richie Gray said, we've done this for like eight coffins. <laughs> yeah, yeah. First time as a corpse on film. <laughs> See a real big square like that, as big as the Uma Malumbra Bay, where all the Wally Dingars hang out. If you go and get yourself a little drink, and we'll be right back after the break with a completed drags bag. Good evening, yes Gordon. This is Sheet Lightning as filmed by Kevin West of Kirby a couple of days ago. It's dramatic stuff. We've also got shots of fork lightning. All of these obviously are potentially dangerous and most of us would hate to be caught out in it. So we'll get away with something like that. Quick shot at the goal. And is it a feature length, 90 minutes? Yeah, it's 90 minutes, yeah. Good lad, good lad. So what did you just sort of proper guerrilla filmmaking? Yeah, like the Beatles didn't sit around and say, well, you know, if only we had the funding for that album, you know. They kind of got on with the gig, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Why should that bother us? Is that a problem? No. Mostrove! That's the spirit. At that moment, then suddenly the knife goes zoom right between you on the dartboard. And then Kevin got in touch with me. I made a long phone call all the way from the will. And he, he told me the, the story and the fact that it was a feature film was what really got me interested. I don't know why I didn't get any funding as such, but I did have to decide on, on stopping at some point. Yeah. And I think you've got to kind of prove yourself as well a little bit and show that you can make a full length feature film. But after careful consideration, we don't feel that it is something for us to take further at this stage. Competition for our funding is very fierce, and I'm afraid, overall, we weren't sufficiently convinced by its potential in a difficult marketplace. However, we're always interested to read new ideas, so please do consider sending us any future projects. So I thought, well, why don't I just, you know, crack on with uh, the scripts I've got? Yeah. Well, good on you, mate. I mean, that, that, that is the only way you're going to get them done. It's got this idea that it's the second city of film, but it's actually foreign money and Hollywood and so forth coming in with their people yeah, that's, that's, and then leaving. That's what they do. They come in, they leave. I mean, I'm not knocking it. Hi, I'm Tristan Mercier, the day job, a uh, time served painter. I'm afraid. I did uh, my course at a drama centre at uh, Central St Martin's School. Making the film as a, a daunting thing, there's like Kevin hasn't, Kevin's just gone in and just said, no, we'll do a feature in the story. And it's like the feature film is, you know, it sounds grand, but it is. It's a lot, a lot more work than, say, doing a 
the five, ten minutes you're which can take about three weeks. Who's in the film? Uh, right, Sarah Gibbons, she's my star. And yeah, she's, uh, she's star. 16, you know, she basically, yeah. Yeah, she uh, did really well, but she can look after herself as well. Yeah. Shay and herself, he teaches her martial arts and stuff, which is probably where some of the stick stuff comes from. And that. But she's really good, she really interprets the role well. Well, I was incredibly nervous. It was my first real professional audition, and uh, it went really well. Thankfully, he didn't cut me any slack. He still made me come on audition, which was good. The result will be worth it, because it does, it has got that, that feel of a feature film. It's got the look of it. You can see the work that's gone into it, and I think the work at the end of the day will shine through. Waiting for them to get the stuff together, and then I'll paint it. <laughs> Just sit in the right yeah. levels. He's king of his own little world. It's a small world, but it's his empire. He's got a rivalry with Shea, which I think goes back a long time. Like Michael has been in prison, he's just come out of prison now, and I expect everything to be as it is. But like, things change, people grow up, people have different ideas about it. And basically, it's, a lot of it is him coming to terms with the fact is that he's not as strong as he, he originally thought he was, and he's very wary of weaknesses. He doesn't like any weaknesses himself, and if he spots a weakness, he'll just exploit them. Just counting up the cliches. I'm facing a new threat. What? Busy with edible nightsticks. Not really a new threat. Something I should have spotted a long time ago, whittling at me, right here, in my mitts. Thwarting you at every turn. <laughs> I'm sorry. He didn't mean to do that. What do I do? Here? Yeah. Um, what are you doing for this film? Good question. A bit of cab work and a bit of assisted to Kevin work. Didn't see him for about a year. Randomly saw him on Bold Street and he collared me for a cup of coffee and said, Do this! And yeah, that was that. It's good fun. It's a lot of fun actually. I've learned that Kevin always loses his glasses. Yeah. <laughs> Colin Sykes reports. The real thing is much more frightening. These shots were taken by Kevin West from Kirby. I'm actually making a feature film at the moment where there's a lot of storms in it. So I made a virtue of necessity and uh, came out, took the opportunity while we had this, you know, amazing storm. On the ground, it's still best to keep your head down in a lightning storm. Ah, with the speed of lightning, we move from here. We've done a lot of work, like, before we shoot anything. You know, the, the rehearsals have been really beneficial and stuff like that. We had meetings and stuff. So basically, when it's coming down to just actually doing the work, the work is like it's... I wouldn't say easy, but it's like, it's enjoyable. So basically you don't notice how hard it is because you're enjoying it so much. Honestly, it's probably, um, everybody keeps doing more than one job. So trying to fit everybody in to get to the right place at the right time. And continuity seems to get lost sometimes because one person was doing it and they go away. So they're the person that's doing it. My favourite scene would be, the, the, the one we did was the adventure in the spell -out. 